Howdy, howdy, and how do you do? And welcome back to a speedrun, the Baladin speedrun. We're gonna compete each one of these classes, the Peglin, the Baladin, and the Round Drill in their speedrun competition. Who is the quicker character and which one can we do better on? We'll always try to progressively get better and better. This is not a great start. But this is a decent early fight, I guess. So we're gonna run through. Actually, no, we're not. We're not gonna run through. We're gonna start again, start anew, and see what we can do. Because that was not a great beginning. Here's some question marks. Question marks are better. Uh, splatters are not great, but we'll make do. We'll see which one of these we can do best with. Uh, the round drill speed run, it was a couple of videos. I mean, it was what, yesterday or something like that is whenever that video went live. So you can kind of see how we did on it. Uh, it was not that great. Fun fact, I think we've had much better runs, but turns out we've been running wrong. We've been doing our runs wrong here recently. We haven't abided by the proper rules throughout the process. So apparently you aren't supposed to take that starting relic and most of our runs prior were us taking the starting relic. Maybe I shouldn't have checked behind the waterfall. I was hoping for a relic, something quick and easy, but instead we have this. The opposite of quick and easy. You weren't supposed to go in the middle. I was saving the middle shot for our bold orb. Because our bold orb just did not do any damage there, which is sad. I am quite sad with fighting this elite fight and performing the way that we are currently, and our refreshes are hidden. Please trigger more than just one bomb. Thank you for triggering another bomb. Please hit a crit. And then we're fine. We're fine. Set back a little bit of time there. But we did at least get an upgrade into our system. Maybe even two upgrades into our system with a refresh shiv. I shouldn't have done refresh shiv. I should have done... The Alchemist Cookbook, because more bombs is, is usually a little quicker for us. Uh, we'll put a pebble in there. We don't care about pebbles instead of stones, which uh, will remove all orbs, of course. Don't care about... Uh, I missed the crit, but that's fine, because we just want everything to spawn in. It's not going to really speed up anything in this process well now oh if we did 80 damage there that would have been perfect we didn't which is fine we have enough money for an upgrade here and you on and now let's try to go get some more relics I'm actually gonna take you fun fact for the betterment of our future we are gonna go to the right I think we can beat this elite fight pretty quick. Yes, if it's this elite fight, we can beat it really quick. In theory, we should be able to beat it really quick, especially with how many crits that we have. And then that is an easy victory. Roy L there. We have enough money. We can upgrade here and continue on. Bring him indignation because I don't think persist works on that since we already has persist. So I don't think persist relic really will make or break us. Maybe we should have carried the egg with us, but not a big deal. 90 damage to start. It's not bad. Going up to 100. Going up to another 100 shot. Into a third hundred shot, almost 200. And then this one should be able to end it. It's as easy as that, you know? It's as easy as that. Now we have zero peers. I should grab that bold orb, I think. We didn't grab an elite relic either. Either. 
Definitely with no pierce, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for us. Oh my lord, our throws are even bad. Okay, maybe I over... Stepped our grounds here. I was a little bit more confident than what... Uh, how I should have been. Pick up our first pierce orb that we see. There's are not pierce orbs. I should have looked at the map first. I don't know if this way's faster. But it had relics. We need relics to get through this. There's no way we're beating this without any relics. Because we're just losing health every single time and making every fight as long as possible. No piercing. We'll take the money. I mean, we'll take the health. Head down. Fight. Ugh. Better than having the pebbles in our hand. Okay, maybe we're not having the best of run here, but this is just our first true attempt. It's not going to be perfect. No one's first attempts are perfect, especially proper attempts. This is our first proper attempt. Oh, if you hit that bomb, I would have been a little bit more of a happier camper. I understand that you didn't want to hit the bomb by any means, because if you hit bombs, it would work out a little bit better in our favor than what is currently taking place in my head with how you're avoiding these bombs a little bit. We are doing absolutely no damage. Here's a pierce. We have to have a pierce in our deck. Oh my lord, just go. Watch this be a aug or something. No, it's not. We're fine now. Good thing we picked up an orb that does pierce. My goodness. Well, now this isn't helpful because you have such a high persist. Maybe we skip. Unfortunately, maybe we skip again. We're skipping solely so that we can get to our pierce. Okay, now we're going to do as much damage as we possibly can. Because we kind of need to now. It's a necessity. Necessity. Ouch. Do you shoot whenever you move? No, you do not. Okay, so we survived at the very least. It wasn't great, but we survived. A lot of self-damage there, which is part of the course, I suppose. It is normal. Perfect. It's plenty of damage. Spend our money here. Got a lot of money. Round guard is fine. Perfect. That gets rid of the first two enemies. And we'll just throw you out. Hopefully you can get rid of both of the others. And then we're good to go. We'll take more healing and head down afford one relic here um enhanced gunpowder believe it or not i think enhanced gunpowder is going to be our best bet not the same elite fight come on now 
You just knew. You just knew what will be our weakness. Why are you starting with this individual? Perfect. Now that was a little bit smoother of a process. Well, I thought you were going to take him out there, but that was a little bit smoother. Not the most smooth, but it was smoother nonetheless. Balance might be a little bit better, increasing our damage. I should have thrown it on this side where there is crits. Oh, I was going to say, are we missing the crits again? Fortunately, I think we're going to forever be behind. We don't skip here. We did that strategically, so we missed the shot. We survive solely off of the uh, sphere. We get to throw one of you. And then we throw you. Get rid of everything. We get to throw one of you. And we switch the sphere. Throw the sphere on out there. It does its duties. Then we get to throw one of you again. Whoa, shoot. Okay, we survived. That took a little bit more brain power to get through that, more than it was a speed run. <laughs> I, not great. Not a great uh, run for us. But look at this. This will do 777 damage, hopefully. Yes, it will. We'll be on our way. Thank you so much for your service. We're just passing through. I just need a relic that does pierce at this point. We don't care. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of self damage. No, it's not. Interesting. We're going to forcefully go to these question marks. Not a great fight. Fun fact. Nice, nice. It's a little more convenient to go this way. And then we'll cut right. Uh, call me crazy for duplicating the sphere, but I think for this final boss, we're going to need a little bit more pierce. The sphere is definitely not designed for um, speed runs. Fun fact, I figured that out just now. I had to look the map real quick. Please go left. Please go left. Thank you. Duplicate a random orb. Spheres duplicated. So we have three spheres. No, we have to go left. Thank you. That was pure luck. Pure luck we went left there. Bombs doing more damage. We have axe me anything. No, we do not have axe me anything. That's fine. We don't need X me anything. We do need some form. Well, we have three spheres. So we have plenty of pierce. This might be crazy, but it does a little bit extra damage. Um, grab the nearest orb, please. Ah, 
I have no idea what happened there, but I'm all for it. That was a lot of damage. And we survive. I am all for that. Uh, intentional oboe probably would have been great, but we have so much money. We did not need to throw you, but... Why? Why do you why are why are you favoring that side? Good sir? You don't need to be favoring that side by any means. Please hit enough bombs. Hit no bombs. Is this thing going to get right in front of us and blow up? No, we hit enough bombs that time. We're piercing through this front guy. Ooh, starting with you is not great. Thank you. Round guard saved us. Oh, thank you. And time. 1643. I'll take it. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made indeed. But I'll take 1643. Oh, man, 1644, essentially, almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, we actually beat it with the Baladin. 1643, I'll take it. I'll take 1643, call it good. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see if we can ever beat that uh, time. Let's see. I imagine there's a way we can beat this time. We didn't have the cleanest of runs. Uh, same with the round drill. Round drill was a pretty awful final boss fight. This was a pretty awful final boss fight too. I think the Orboros doesn't do us any favors. Now, Peglin, we'll be curious on how the well the Peglin will do. I don't foresee the Peglin doing any better than these two, especially the Baladin. Baladin starting with a sphere is great. Granted, we didn't even use that ability, but it is what it is. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking with you all later. Bye-bye.